Hey guys, James with Jetty USA and Esprit Model. Want to get to you, get together with you today and talk a little bit about the M Vario and the M Alti, uh, two sensors that are used for measuring altitude uh, that are available from Jetty USA or Esprit Model. Uh, when you get your M Vario 2 and plug that into the receiver, there's a couple of things that you need to do first before you're going to be able to use that telemetry or see that telemetry. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is go into the menu of the radio go into model and into device explorer go into the receiver that you have plugged in and powered up in this case we're using the r6 and let me back out there so you can see that we want to change from our serial link from jetty box servo over to ex bus uh, once you've done that and applied those changes when you back out of that receiver uh, you'll see our mvario 2 pop up on the screen the next thing that you want to do is you want to go into our main menu, go into timers and sensors, and go into sensor logging setup and just verify that the Mvario 2 is there. And in our case it is there, it does show up as, long, as well as all the telemetry that comes from it. So now we can go ahead and use some of that telemetry. So we want to back out, we want to go into our display telemetry, and we want to go ahead and add our relative altitude so and that'll give us altitude on our screen of the radio so we'll go ahead and assign that we're going to go ahead and back out to our main menu uh, to give you a little idea uh, right now the device is sitting about two meters off the deck um, and if we were to move that it would change or you would see that on the screen uh, now if you're just using it for altitude this is about as far as you'd need to go uh, if you were using the MLT, this is as far as you could go as use it for the altitude, um, uh, other than setting altitude-based alarms. And we'll talk about that more in a second. Uh, as far as the MVario, typically guys have a lot more that they want to do with it. So we'll show you what you're capable of. I'm going to jump into the main menu. Uh, we're going to go back into our timers and sensors, and we're going to click on the Vario tab. Uh, it, first thing that comes up is mode, and typically that'll be off if you haven't set one up before. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to change it to EX value. And the first thing that you'll notice, as soon as you do that, you'll start hearing tones. Now that's our Vario tone, giving us indication of whether it's in lift or in sync. And it's pretty static now, so it'll go back and forth just based on small changes in pressure from us speaking above the sensor. Of course, you don't want to hear that all the time, or you don't want it active all the time. So we're going to go ahead and go into the system and we're going to assign it a switch. In this case, we've signed it to the SC. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. With that switch position off now, you won't hear those tones. Those tones will only come on when you flip that switch. Uh, you have access to, to change the EX parameter, uh, which is any of the available uh, telemetry from that device. And we're going to go ahead and leave that and not change it. And of course, it shows the range uh, and dead zone for that device right on the screen. Now, if you bought the Vario and you're an ALDS comp competitor or an F5J competitor, the Vario has the ability to work as your timer for those two uh, types of events. To do that, you want to go ahead and back out into the main menu, into Model, Device Explorer, and back into the Mvario 2. Uh, under General Settings and Device Mode, You'll see you can change it from Vario to F5J limiter, ALES limiter, and ALOT limiter. If you go to, let's say, ALES, apply the changes, you'll notice that now you can go in and set your motor off time, your cutoff altitude, and throttle cutoff time, as well as the sensitivity uh, of the sensor itself. This allows you to be compliant with your ALES rules Vario is disabled and it only works as your motor timer for that specific type of competition. Now, let's say you're using, you know, a small hand launch airplane and you want just your altitude or you're using a helicopter or you're using a multi-rotor and you just want altitude or altitude uh, devices, you wouldn't probably purchase something like the Mvario 2. You would go with more with like our m Alti EX. Uh, that particular device, I'm going to change this back, that particular device will give you just your altitude. Um, the reason I mention that with helicopters and multi-rotors, a lot of the current fly barless systems offer a rescue 
uh, as part of their package. Uh, one of the things that we can do with Jetty is we can build a hard deck feature, which is, means we'll build into the radio a telemetry control based on altitude and use that telemetry control as the switch for our rescue mode. So if you set 30 feet, uh, then anytime the helicopter dropped below 30 feet, it would go into rescue mode. Now you'd probably want to use a logic switch, assign a secondary switch to that so you had ability to shut that off so you could land. Um, but you could do the same thing with a multi-rotor. Anytime you drop below 15 feet, it would activate return to home. Uh, really great for those camera ships carrying large expensive payloads. Um, gives you yet another kind of security uh, on, your air, on, on your vehicle or on your aircraft. So keep those two things in mind. If you have any questions or, or more than what you've seen here, don't hesitate to reach out to us at Esprit Model or Jetty USA. Uh, this is James. Thanks again.